U.S. President Joe Biden has arrived in Northern Ireland to mark 25 years of the Good Friday Agreement. It's a peace deal that largely ended 30 years of bloodshed. Biden, who is fiercely proud of his Irish heritage, will spend just over half a day in the British-run region. The U.S. President will then travel to the Republic of Ireland for almost three days of meetings with officials and distant relatives. Biden was welcomed by British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on the runway of the Belfast International Airport. Both leaders will be holding a meeting early on Wednesday. Biden will also hold talks with each of the leaders of Northern Ireland's five main political parties. He will later give a speech at the Belfast University. Biden arrives at a delicate time in Northern Ireland and will need to tre uh, tread carefully here. Our next report is all the details. Take a look. U.S. President Joe Biden's visit to Northern Ireland coincides with a particularly delicate time in politics there. This footage underscores it. Dissidents in the city of Londonderry attacking police just a day before Biden's arrival during a rally opposing the 25th anniversary of the peace accord that capped the decades of sectarian violence known as the Troubles. So what's behind Biden's visit and why does it matter? Biden, along with the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, is marking the anniversary of that peace accord, the 1998 Good Friday Agreement, which was supported at the time by former President Bill Clinton, the fellow Democrat who also played a hand in its negotiations. Biden has Irish ancestry, often quotes Irish poets, and is the first American president to visit Northern Ireland in 10 years. But the trip comes at a sensitive political time. For example, pro-British unionists loyal to London continue to boycott the power-sharing government that was a major part of the Good Friday Agreement. And because of Brexit, one of Belfast's political parties, the Democratic Unionist Party, or DUP, is also protesting trade rules that treat Northern Ireland different from the rest of the UK. Its leader, Geoffrey Donaldson, is seen here. On Biden's agenda are meetings with representatives of five political parties, and he's expected to float American investment opportunities to help break the impasse, but the White House said he's not planning to pressure them. The DUP has previously criticized Biden when he waded into that Brexit debate before. Violence also still crops up sporadically here. The British intelligence agency MI5 recently raised the threat level for domestic terrorism in Northern Ireland to severe, the highest since the rating system was introduced 13 years ago. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.